Hey, I'm Chris Emsworth. I auditioned for Thor many years ago. I didn't get a call back, re-auditioned a few times, but I didn't really know if it was gonna work or if there was gonna be an extension beyond that first film. It was all just an idea and a dream. Today, I'm gonna be attempting the 30 day Thor challenge. Are you sure? Yeah, why? Because it's 30 days and 24 hours. That's a bit extreme. I want to see what happens when you learn something and commit to improving 1% every day. Now, in order to successfully complete this 24 hour challenge, I must complete each workout once, plus hit all three of my past challenge goals. First up is handstands, going for a 10 second hold. I've never done it in an open field like this for 10 seconds. See how we go. It's kind of windy here. Ow! That wrist. Warm up. Stay tuned, because you don't want to miss the front lever and muscle up attempt. But I'm not giving up just yet. While we're here, let's start session one, chest and back. And first up is weighted pull-ups, otherwise turning into a raisin at the age of 45. Some dude drove past just now, gave me a weird look. I wonder why. Next is weighted dip. It doesn't have to be hard, but if you make it hard with minimal rest, it's going to be hard. Just like that, we're done. After driving home, having caused chaos on the road, like a normal Asian, it's time for the bench press. Wish me luck. First set done, baby. Now I may or may not go up in weight. Thor, what do you think? Oh, uh, what? Yes, I will. All right, 65 kilos. As you can tell, living off the government, the towel as a bench. All right, add on another five kilos. <sighs> Three sets down, one to go. So this is what I'm currently feeling. I've still got energy. It's about the little things in life. And on to bent over rows. It's like I'm coming out of a bunker. 65 is a bit high. If you're doing the Thor challenge, let's go with 55. The idea is to just do it. Start with one rep. Chances are you're going to do more than that. If you stop, I don't know what kind of breed you are. But remember, if you think like Thor, you're going to forget your barber's appointment. Before I forget, let's give the handstand hold another try. Best one yet. I don't think that was 10 seconds. We're gonna keep going. Stay tuned, because you don't want to miss the muscle up and front lever attempt. Ah, yes! 10 seconds, baby. After a short break, we're on to session two, legs. First up is squats. And because we don't have a squat rack, set number one. And because it's six to eight reps, of course I'm gonna go for six reps. Less is more, right? And some might say we don't count the first set, but I'm counting that because if Thor was here, no, I don't think he would approve. Here's three facts. You probably already know first name Chris, last name Hems, born in Australia. Now on to deadlifts to finish. About 110 pounds for my US viewers. One thing I would realized, there is no shoulders. How the heck did he get massive shoulders? All right, we're going all in. 75 kilos, 150 pounds. Random fact, which you probably already know, Thor, Love and Thunder, it's one of four. And a fun fact about me, <clears throat> I've never seen any Thor movies in my life. So why the heck am I doing this? Thank God. <laughs> one interesting fact about Chris, he had to gain 20 pounds, about nine kilos, to play Thor. Bonus fact, he dies in the latest movie. Back at the park once again, and I think it's time for the front lever attempt. I've only ever held a front lever for 10 seconds once. That was unofficial. We're gonna go ahead and do the 10 second front lever hold attempt. Let's see how we go. Ooh, that was quite intense. Felt a lot easier than I expected. Insane. I cannot believe I did that. But you don't want to miss my muscle up attempt coming up. For real though. Soon enough, we're on to Thor's unique selling point. Uh, starting with weighted chin up. So I'm looking like a schoolboy. This time we're doing eight to 12 reps. Second set done and dusted. Sky's beautiful, no clouds in sight. Just a couple birds on the paddock. Kids about to be released from the school, so we can't be here all day. Three sets down, 24 reps in. I'm actually gonna go and finish. I feel pressured for some reason. There's a guy walking towards me. I'm gonna go. Next, moving on to close grip bench press. Working the triceps. Eight to 12 reps. Set number two. Going for eight reps. And we're about halfway through the challenge. Part two of the workout program, fat loss. The number one cure for heart disease. This is where Chris Hemsworth burns off the shrimps on the barbie. Starting with circuit one, Tabata. That's 20 seconds of continuous work, followed by a 10 second rest, four rounds in total. All right, just made it to Calisthenics Park. Now, I haven't forgotten about the muscle up attempt. This is going to dictate whether we complete the challenge or crash and burn. Luckily, there's no one here. One. Two, three, four. One. Pause there. You don't want to miss the end. Next is circuit two, starting with kettlebell swing combo. Exactly what you would order in a CrossFit drive thru. Right now, I feel like my booty is being held by Chris Hemsworth. And then kettlebell cleans combo to finish. 60 reps in total with no rest. And that's it for session number two. And as we move closer to the end, 
looking like I'm trying to walk for the first time in my life. A moment ago, I got to rep 5 out of 10. Six. It's time for the ultimate decider. Let's see if I can finish it. Seven. Eight. Nine. Yes! Growing up in an Asian family, being surrounded by so many book smart individuals, I felt dumb. In my teen years, I was constantly compared with, and I get it, but I never had the opportunity to excel in what I was good at. I literally cannot believe I just did 10 muscle ups. Doing what I want to do, and be able to discover my true passions. And that's creating valuable content to inspire guys like you. To join me on this lifelong journey, try new things, practicing skills, that was honestly way harder than I thought it was. Whether you want to start a business, learn a skill, or simply work on yourself, improving just 1% every day can have a massive impact on your life in the long run. But my form is actually really good. I've been practicing the past couple weeks. That's what this channel is about, to take daily steps towards achieving your goals and dreams, and over time, achieving the impossible. Hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this one. Click on the screen and I'll see you there. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Bye. That's it, 30 day challenge in 24 hours, yet again, solar edition, bye.